My name is Chrissy, and yes, I'm married to two amazing women. It's a bit unconventional, but then again, when has my life ever been traditional? Every day is a reminder of just how special my situation is, how deeply I love being their wife, and how much they adore dressing me up. Today, they chose something particularly delicate for me, a floral romper that feels like I'm wrapped in a spring garden. The pastel pinks and greens swirl together with lace trimming, and I have to admit, it's one of my favorite pieces. The ruffled sleeves add a soft touch, and I can't help but feel pretty. My wives, Naomi and Rachel, always have an eye for the details, and they picked out these strappy pink heels that give me just the right amount of height. They say I look lovely this way, and honestly, I've started to believe them. They insist on buying me outfits like this. It started as a playful thing when we first got together, shopping sprees where I was the canvas for their fashion creativity. At first, I resisted a little, feeling shy, but soon I realized how freeing it was to just go with it. I never thought I'd enjoy wearing clothes that are seen as feminine, but the truth is, I love it now. Naomi says it's because I have the softest energy, and these outfits bring it out in the most beautiful way. But it's more than just the clothes. I love how they treat me with such care, always making sure I feel beautiful and loved. I mean, how many people can say they have not one, but two amazing wives who adore dressing them up and making them feel cherished. Rachel handed me a small pink purse today before we left for brunch. It goes with the heels, love, she said with that knowing smile. I took it, my heart swelling with warmth. Sometimes I catch myself staring at the mirror, amazed at the transformation, both outside and within. Life with Naomi and Rachel is like a dream. They're both powerful women, strong, smart, and confident in ways I admire. They push me to embrace all parts of myself, even the ones I used to hide. Now, I feel comfortable in my skin, whether I'm wearing something soft and delicate like this, or just being wrapped in their arms after a long day. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I just love being the wife of two superior women. They make me feel complete. As the weeks passed, I noticed how much I had changed, not just in how I looked, but in how I felt about myself. I used to think that wearing dresses, heels, and makeup was just a game Naomi and Rachel liked to play. A way to explore something different in our relationship. But now, it's become a part of me. I don't think I'd feel right without the soft, silky fabrics against my skin, or the way a pair of heels makes me stand a little taller, a little more confident. I was their Chrissy, their sissy wife, and I adored it. Every morning, Naomi would wake me with a kiss on the forehead, whispering, time to get up, love. She'd then pick out the outfit of the day. Some days, it was something casual, a flowy sundress, or maybe a cute pair of shorts like today's floral romper. Other days, she'd go all out with something elegant and lacy, complete with stockings and delicate jewelry. Rachel, on the other hand, was more about my grooming. She took care of my hair, making sure it was always styled perfectly. Some days she'd curl it into soft waves, and other days she'd pull it back into a cute ponytail, tied with a pastel ribbon. She loved doing my makeup too. Just a little mascara and blush, Chrissy, she'd say, her fingers lightly brushing against my cheeks as she worked. You look so much prettier with a little color. I remember the first time they brought me to a salon for a full makeover. It was supposed to be a surprise, and I was a little nervous when we walked in. The stylists there clearly knew what was happening. They smiled warmly as Naomi and Rachel explained that I was getting the full treatment, waxing, nails, hair, everything. I think they could tell I was nervous because one of them, a woman named Clara, gently held my hand and reassured me that it would be fun. And it was. As they worked, I felt myself slipping further into the role that Naomi and Rachel had crafted for me. My nails were painted a soft pink, matching the floral dress they had laid out for me that day. I was waxed smooth, my skin glowing and soft to the touch. When they were done, I barely recognized myself in the mirror. Rachel leaned over, smiling as she adjusted a strand of my hair. You look perfect, she whispered. Naomi kissed my cheek, and I felt a warm glow spreading through me. This was me, this was who I was meant to be. I remember stepping out of the salon that day, feeling the warm breeze brush against my smooth legs, the hem of my dress swaying gently as we walked. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, I wasn't nervous, I felt proud, proud to be their wife, proud to be Chrissy. Over time, they began to introduce me to their friends. We'd have tea parties or brunches with other couples, and I'd sit there in my pretty dresses, listening to them talk about their lives and careers. Occasionally, one of them would compliment me on how lovely I looked, 
and I'd blush, thanking them softly, just as Naomi and Rachel had taught me. You're a perfect wife, Chrissy, Rachel would often say, stroking my cheek as we sat together on the couch in the evening. We couldn't ask for better. And it was true, I had fully embraced the role of their sissy wife, learning to be soft, gentle, and submissive in ways I never thought possible. I loved it, every part of it, the clothes, the makeup, the pampering, it all made me feel so cared for, so special. I knew there were people out there who wouldn't understand. They'd see me and wonder why a man would want to live like this, why I'd give up my masculinity to wear dresses and let my wives control my life. But the truth was, I had never felt more myself. Naomi and Rachel didn't control me, they nurtured me, loved me in ways that allowed me to flourish in this role. Being their Chrissy, their sissy wife, wasn't a burden. It was a joy, every day was filled with affection and care, and I felt like I had finally found my true place in the world. Wrapped in their love, adorned in the clothes they chose for me, I was happier than I had ever been before.